Hi there, my name is Jamie, and I'm the founder of Entergid Videos, where we work with nonprofits to create, to use influencers in your campaigns to drive more awareness, to create stories that, that engage and impact, and of course, we ask for the, for, the, for the funds, the donations at the end. This is our framework, our research framework. Okay, there's beyond what we do, we're showing here, we have other things we do, but really our goal here is to find insights that influencers should know prior to working with you, uh, why someone will or will not donate, what are, what's our thoughts going through their head, their minds, what is going to allow someone to say, yes, I do want to donate to this, non, to this local nonprofit. And then in terms of our goals, you know, it's, it's easy to say, hey, we want this campaign to raise X amount of money. But a lot of times, there's a lot more than just saying uh, there's a lot more that needs to be done for someone to go from completely unaware, so I have no idea who you are, to actually uh, whipping out their, their wallet and, and giving you money. So there are different different things that we have to think about and, uh, become, and be cognizant to. And we give some examples of our solutions. So let's get started uh, with this, the desired result. Now, this is not y your desired result. This is the donor's desired result. What is, a, what is a potential donor looking to do, right? And the goal here is, or the thinking here is, there's two types of donors. One is the small, uh, major donor. So I, I put, uh, I, I kind of made a reference to a million dollar plus. And then what are the smaller donors? A thousand, a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. Obviously a pretty big range, but that's, that's the, uh, those are the insights I got here. So in terms of the major donors, now, oh, by the way, these are one and the same. So obviously, a major donor might have the same goals as a smaller donor or vice versa. So, but these are the insights that we have. Major donor, passion. They want to be passionate about the social, the, about the social, pro, not, the nonprofit that they're working with. They may want recognition. If I'm going to give a lot of money, I want to be recognized for that, for that donation. And of course, the impact. What is the impact I'm making with this money and how is it going to affect the community? Smaller donor, same thing. What is that impact I'm making by giving this money here? Um, supporting a mission. So they want to feel aligned with your mission. And that's when at least receive some sort of taxable uh, benefits for donating. So what are some of the pains, both by uh, major donors and, and smaller donors, that they go through um, prior to deciding whether or not they want to donate, donate to a local, local nonprofit? One, it's lack of trust in the organization and its mission. Two, concerns about how the money's going to be used. Three, unclear or unrealistic goals and objectives. Four, poor communication and lack of transparency by the nonprofit. And five, poor fundraising methods and techniques. These are pretty well known, nothing crazy here. But once again, for a influencer that doesn't know, hasn't worked with nonprofits, it's very important they understand this. So obviously your insights also would come into play here. Why would someone not donate, okay? And the way I frame this is, what's going through the person's mind when they say, you know what, mm, I'm not feeling giving it to this local nonprofit. So here's some of the things we came up with. I'm not sure if it's really worth it to donate money to this local nonprofit. It seems like such a small amount in the grand scheme of things. What difference could my donation really make? I don't know if it's really the best way to help out my community. Maybe I should just keep my money and use it in another way, like giving it to a larger nonprofit, something that maybe one that's national, because I know it's reputable and trustworthy. So those are some of the thoughts that may go through someone's mind when deciding not to give to your local nonprofit. Why would they say yes? So, so what are some of the things that, as, an, as a nonprofit, you could help to get somebody to that yes, okay? And I always say it's no like trust. They, they, they have to know you first, they have to like you, and they have to trust you before they whip out their wallets and give you money. So uh, these are just some ideas that uh, we want to make sure that the, the influencer understands what they could do. Number one, explain the mission and purpose of the nonprofit in a way that's engaging, creative, compelling, okay? To their, to their followers and community. Demonstrate the organization's commitment to transparency and accountability to donors by providing financial records. So if you have financial records on your website, maybe the influencer can do a, a green screen and show some of the uh, examples of, 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 of uh, donations that have actually happened, occurred. Three, share stories of people who have been positively impacted by, nonprofit, by the nonprofit's work. So once again, you have testimonials. Great, let's get the, the, non, let's get the influencer to show and talk about some of these testimonials. Four, show evidence of the nonprofit's long-term success and sustainability. And five, provide an overview of the organization's plans for future growth and impact. All right, goals. Now, these are not; these are the goals that we all have to understand and com be committed to 
Uh, we all call them key performance indicators. So with the influencer and the impact videos we create, is the goal to attract and engage? So new customers, right? Typically it is. Or is it to reach brand new customers as well? They're slightly different. Educate and inform. So this is usually done by storytelling, right? A longer form video that has some sort of beginning, middle, end, and has a story plot outline. These can be used for new and current. But new is a little harder because they don't know who you are. Donor stewardship. Project updates. Maybe you have a project you're working on. It could be a new building. It could be, a, it could be something that, that's been in the works for a few months or years. Give people an understanding of where, where you stand. And, and of course, immediate donations, immediate fundraising. What does that look like? Now, the, the biggest uh, misnomer is that because an influencer is going to say, ask, hey, give, give this uh, nonprofit some money, that their followers are going to turn around and do it. No, like everything else. There's a no like trust element, right? So we have to ensure that, that the messaging and the funnel that people are going through, the journey, is congruent and it has everything they need to make a decision that, yes, they want to donate to this, to this nonprofit. All right, and then solutions. Here are some examples of solutions that we would do. So in order to attract and engage new donors, focus on the hook. So we're going to do a lot of focus on the influencer's hook, okay? One example here. The number one lie people do not donate to a local nonprofit is that they don't have enough money to make a difference. So that could be said by the influencer. So it's hopefully it's jarring, scroll stopping, and it's going to make people think, oh, I, that's what I believed. No, it's a lie. So have you used influencers in the past? Why would you want to use influencers? Reason number one, influencers can help increase visibility and reach for the nonprofit, allowing them to extend their message to potential donors who may not have heard of their organizations before. Two, influencers are already have a personal connection with their followers allowing them to better communicate the importance and the impact of your cause. And number three, influencers can, can help encourage engagement and donations by providing creative and inspiring content that resonates with their followers. So these are just some of the strategies we use, and we have a whole bunch more insights. So for more information, please click the, uh, the, the link in, uh, in, the, um, in blue and uh, schedule a call with me or check out my YouTube channel where I have a lot more videos. All right, thanks very much. Take care. Bye.